getting ready for our workout. All right, we got some combo moves. We're gonna go, I'm gonna turn this into intervals because they're a little longer. They're one minute because they're combination to get enough reps in because each rep takes a little longer. The first one is that squat overhead press combination from last week. So I'll show you real quick with light dumbbells. You're gonna wanna use medium or heavy for this, not heavy, heavy probably, because there's a lot going on. You're gonna hold those at your shoulders, do a bottom half squat, bottom, halfway up, bottom, and then stand and press them overhead. And up. It'll be an eight count. And then right away, as you bring those down, you go into the next one, bottom half squat, push hard there, one arm, other arm and right back into it. Second exercise is with your band where we're going to do band curls up on one, down on three. So that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Give our brain a little rest after the complicated combination. So we'll be doing one minute on and about 25 seconds rest. Okay, so grab your medium or heavy weights. I realized I couldn't see my hands in that squat combo and get set up, get those palms facing center the whole time. Three, two, one, here we go. Bottom half squat, on the way up out of that, push. Overhead down up with one arm, down up with the other, bring them down, lower into the next squat. Push through the heels, burst up out of that squat. Get a little thrust from the lower body. If you've done thrusters, push presses, you'll know what I'm talking about. Pushing through the heels, trying to be sitting back, looking mostly forward through the squat. If you would like to go to music, it's an eight count. And also when you're pushing that overhead and holding those overhead, don't shrug your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades planted even though those arms are overhead. Little space between the shoulders and your head. Oh. Nice and easy out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab your band, your bandle, handled band, stand on it. It's not a huge long break. You'll curl up one down for three, keep your elbows tucked back. Here we go. Now, up one, down nice and slow. If it's too easy, step wider on your band. Mine's a little light here today. Keep your elbows back. Think about flexing the biceps. And then also brace the abs a little bit. Squeeze your butt. Nice and tall on these. You have to grab a tighter band. This is a new band and it's light, but I thought, oh, I'll trust it. So light is good for certain exercises and then just too easy for things like this. I'm really, really, really squeezing my biceps to get more out of it. It's squeaking too. There's your beep, 25 seconds. Get ready to grab your weights. You can adjust up or down based on how set one felt. I think last week when I demonstrated this and did it, my weights were a little light and today I grabbed kind of the appropriate ones. And it's like, oh yeah, hello. All right, get those weights up, almost ready to go. Here it is, there's your beep, bottom, half, bottom, push press, lower one arm, lower the other arm, right back into it. Lots of control though. At any point you can separate these moves. You could bring those to your shoulders, then start again. If it feels a little dicey to lower them and lower into the spot at the same time. Make it what you need it to be. Oh. I was working out with my son yesterday and I had him do this. <laughs> he gets about six reps in and he's like, oh my God. I'm like, yep. <laughs> oh. 
and he's 29. So there, that makes us feel better. <laughs> I can't believe you have a kid who's 29. Oh, hello, seriously. 30 is gonna flake me out big time. <sighs> Seems wrong. You must have had him when you were a teenager. I was like seven. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was young. I was 22. And curls. 22 and unprepared. But we made it work. <laughs> I'm freaking out at 20. Yeah. Here we go. Up one, down three. Yeah, I mean, I tell people, it's like, I'm, my kids are 25 and 29. It's like, what? <laughs> and then my mom says, well, how do you think I feel? <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess that's. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's just something about the years just doesn't seem possible. No marriages yet, though. No kids, no grandkids. <sighs> All right. Got an appropriate band. Definitely feeling it more. We're going three sets on these. Keep those elbows back, hug the abs, nice and tall. Almost done. All right, oh. one more set. Squat press combo coming up. Remember to get in and out of the exercises carefully. That's still part of it. Focusing on good form, getting those up to your shoulders carefully, bracing abs, all that. Here we go, bottom half squat. Squeeze your butt, push the floor away through the heels. Don't shrug the shoulders at the top, but do try to get those arms close to your head, close to your ears. So from the front, you don't want those going out right and left because they're hard to control up there. So push them straight overhead. Usually my biceps are grazing my hair, grazing my ears when I push. Yeah, so the mistake I made of doing this yesterday with my son, I'm like, here, try this move. Because it means <laughs> I did it yesterday and now I'm doing it again. The other thing I forgot to talk about is not starting with the same arm each time. I haven't even paid attention, so I probably am myself. Too late now, we're in set three. <laughs> A lot of work in this one. Good, nice and easy. Come out of that carefully. Grab your band. Bicep curls, get set up. tall, everything braced, elbows back. So there was even a different trainer who really coached that people should keep their elbows even further back than usual. I sort of tested that out. It feels fine to me. I've asked a few physical therapists. They didn't have a problem with it. <laughs> um, sometimes doing different things for the sake of being different makes it riskier, but if you kind of pull your elbows behind you just a little bit, you can isolate the biceps a bit. You can try that if you want. You just don't want your elbows to come forward. So as you curl, the upper arm should not go in front of your body. In fact, the upper arm stays in one place. You're only flexing those biceps. Big difference if I have the right tension band. <laughs> I'm feeling these now. Okay, done, done, done. Take a break. Moving on to new combinations. Okay, so let me show you what these are. One of them, you're going to use a light or medium weight. And when I say medium, air on the light side. So I've got a three. Um, I wouldn't mind a five, but I don't have any in this room. So we're doing that. No, we're not. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. 
<laughs> yeah, we are. I was on the wrong page. Okay, <laughs> I was looking at workout B. So we're doing that reverse lunge. So I've got the dumbbell in my right hand. And, well, honestly, it's not gonna matter too much. <laughs> You're gonna lunge back, lift that up, pass it to the other side, and then step together, lower it down, and then the other leg. So it's a little bit of a brain challenge of which leg goes next. So you might wanna go like, oh, the leg closest to the dumbbell is the one that lunges back or something like that so that you can remember it. It doesn't matter too much which one you start with. Lunge, hold the lunge, pass it. When I lunge, I'm keeping my back leg mostly straight. You could go here if you want to. It will be harder and you will feel the front of your thighs more. So because this pass you're holding, I would just go into whatever lunge kind of comes naturally to you. Some just automatically do that, some automatically do this. Either one is fine with me and then step out of it. Exercise two is that, Honestly, I got all goofed up. I was looking at workout B for a second here. Overhead press three tricep extensions. That's gonna be with your heavier weight. So push overhead, do three extensions. I'm going fast because I have a three in my hand and then bring it down. All right. So grab your lighter weight. Same thing, one minute. Get set in that lunge, get there, steady, then pass the weight. You're not going for speed on this, you're going for control. And it's an isometric hold. So you're challenging your legs, not by getting 20 reps, but by holding them for longer. One minute, three, two, one, go. Lunge back, hold it, pass the weight in front, step together, switch. Right brain, left brain challenge. Also stepping back on train tracks, not a tight rope. And then watch that back ankle, make sure it doesn't want to turn. This is a good one to use a mirror, <laughs> your reflection in a window or your TV or your zoom screen. I'm starting to feel yesterday's workout right now. <laughs> and what's crazy is I didn't feel great yesterday. So I felt like I didn't do a hard workout, but I feel it. Okay, a medium or heavy weight to push overhead for tricep extensions. You'll do an overhead press, three extensions, lower it down in front, repeat. And when you lower it down, bring it right to your chest. Don't bring it far away from the body. So it's hugged in close like this the whole time. Take a deep breath. There we go. Don't arch your back. So really have to brace your abs now. Focus on triceps, three of those, bring it down in front. Exhale, push it right back up. Again, biceps really close to your ears. Try to keep it in tight. It can feel a bit awkward. So then when you bend, your elbows are pointing forward and up, not out to the sides. If that hurts in the wrong way, it's not the end of the world if you flare your elbows a bit, but proper form is usually keeping it in tight. Almost done. There's your beat. Trade that out for the lighter weight. Regretting all my exercise decisions yesterday. Seems like I hit all the same muscle groups. <laughs> and now I'm sore. Okay, the reverse lunge past the weight. Decide which leg is moving first and then alternate. There's your beep. Lunge back, hold it, pass the weight, step together. Set two, second set, best set. Get a little deeper into that lunge if you can. Stick the landing, step back.
almost there. <laughs> it feels long. <laughs> there it is, jeepers. Felt like I must have pressed it wrong. Ah, grab the weight for overhead tricep extensions. One thing I do like about the combos is it gives you something to have to focus on rather than just your burning muscles. <laughs> so that distraction and focus is good for me anyway. Take a deep breath. There we go. Brace the core. Three extensions. Focus on triceps flexing. After three, lower it in front. One of my son's friends had him do a tricep exercise a week ago that he hadn't done in a long, long, long time. He's still sore. It's like eight days later. <laughs> so we did some good stretching yesterday. <laughs> Trash those triceps. Almost there. There's your beat. Come out of it carefully. One more set. Set up for those lunges. Take a deep breath. Here's your start. Lunge, hold, pass it. <laughs> Just had a little wobble. A lot of shoulders today. That squat combo hit shoulders, this hit shoulders. The tricep extension hits shoulders as we lower it in front and push it right back up. Almost done. There's your beep. Tricep extension, and then we're done with the strength part of the workout. I feel like I should play I spy because on the bed behind me there's a little dog <laughs> oh, really? Hide, hiding behind the, the big pillow. <laughs> uh -huh. So cute. Ah. Oh, here's our beep. Brace the core. Push that up. If the three in a row becomes too difficult by the end, you could do one and then lower it down because lowering it down gives the triceps a break, still hitting shoulders. Good for that shoulder joint. And the opposite is true. If you want it to be harder on your triceps, you can tricep extension more than three times. You're probably halfway. So for reference, if you wanna start going for it, you can just don't arch your back. Triceps, small muscle groups, respond well to high reps. Easy to fatigue. <laughs> can feel them right away. Ah, good, done, rest. Oh, <laughs> Shake it out, walk around, catch your breath. We are going into cardio and balance coming up next. So you're going to be doing your chair or bench burpees. So you'll want to get whatever you put your hands on ready. If these seem easy, you're always looking for something maybe a little bit lower. I've got a like a little footstool, which is kind of perfect height for me. Ignore that. What's our timing for this? Oh, okay. 
think I saved it. I did. Good. Yay, me. Okay. Refresher. First move for cardio is one burpee, two jacks. So you do one bench burpee, hands down, jump back, jump in, stand, two jumping jacks. So it's one, two, three, stand, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't wanna do regular jacks, you can do this, okay? One each side. Then you'll grab a light or a medium dumbbell. We're going to do that side step halo. So step to one leg, whatever leg is lifted halo past it, Try to get that dumbbell behind your head without moving your torso. So you're here, freeze everything. So it's working the shoulder, um, the rotator cuff quite a bit. More shoulders. Shoulders are in the burpees too. Okay, so 45 seconds for the burpees, two jacks. Usually we do about 30 seconds. So that's already a push. 20 second rest. Then we do one minute of the balance halo which is like an active rest because it's not heart rate except that you're recovering from your cardio. So that makes it a little harder and it really challenges your balance when you've got a higher heart rate, especially by set two and three. So let's get set up for the burpees. One burpee, two jacks, and always change the cardio burst to anything that you need. If it doesn't work for you, you can do side skips, just burpees, <laughs> whatever you want. 45 seconds, three, two, one, go. One burpee, two jacks, light on your feet. When you jump your feet back in that burpee, don't go so far back that your hips start to dip toward the floor. You don't wanna feel any pressure in the lower back. Abs brace at least 50%. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Walk around. Slow and controlled breathing. Grab your dumbbell for halo. <sighs> Heavy breathing. All right, get set. Here comes your beep. Step to one side, lift one knee, find your balance, halo past the lifted leg, all the way behind your head. Step or hop to the other side. If you wobble, control it first. This is one of the biggest things I see people do that I don't want is they step into it and just start circling because then it's momentum, which can help you actually control it. And so we want to do slow controlled so that we actually challenge our balance, fire up the right muscles, stare at one thing. If it helps, you can change which direction you're facing for a little added challenge. my new favorites. Rest 20 seconds and then you'll go back to one burpee, two jacks. All right, go to your burpee spot going in four, three, two, one, go. Second set, best set. If it feels okay, try to pick up the pace a little bit so you can get one more in. Lifted, breakable floor, quiet feet. Fifteen seconds. Now ten. 
Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, walk around. Only sit down if you're dizzy or queasy. A little hard on your heart if you just sit down. All right, get ready. Beeps coming fast. Here we go. Side step halo. How do you make an exercise feel harder? Do 45 seconds of burpees right before. <laughs> this exercise is too easy. Here, do this first. <laughs> It's so interesting because I'm I, I kind of thrive on the hard push. And it's now that I all of a sudden just realize like whoa and like the sweat bursts forth and hearts pounding and Rest. One more set. So this kind of doubles as our accessory. And some of those combo moves are accessory too because they focus on coordination, agility. Three, two, one, one burpee, three jacks. All right, if you can go for it. Got enough gas in the tank to push because you know you don't have to do this again. We'll go to the floor next. Halfway. Ooh, heart rate up 10 seconds. Last push. Three, two, one. Walk around. Fill your belly when you breathe right now. Five seconds. Grab your dumbbell, sidestep halo. Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> Oh. 20 seconds feels long if you're doing jumping jacks. 20 seconds feels short if it's your rest. <laughs> That's why I don't always like to control the rest because sometimes just intuitively at certain points you need a little bit longer. Sometimes you need a little less. And so, but to keep us to our 45 minutes makes it more efficient to time it. Yeah, keep us on track, wobble. Almost there. There's your beep done. Yay, walk around, get a drink, catch your breath. 